everyone uh, your girl B Tyros is back again uh, I'm gonna be showing you what I've mixed uh, what I missed to upload on uh, Wednesday and Thursday which is my second and third day in school I'm gonna be showing you all my practical the practical we did in school the reason why I didn't show I, I didn't update the video on the on Wednesday is because uh, we set uh, we put our rollers on the dummy head so we put them on dryer so today we wear them out and uh, style them in different style yeah so the reason why I topic my uh, video today as a school asset black and white is because uh, when I came to register for the school I was told we're gonna be wearing only black black cloth black trousers black top black shoe everything but today uh, my teacher told us that we can go on white to only that the white has to be a plain white so I was so happy I was so so happy I'm so glad because I even prefer white rather than black I don't believe there is any situation that will come that will make me be on black 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 because I'm not a black person but I'm so happy so I just started today with my white cap so uh, by next week maybe I'll be mixing them up because I already went for black dress black top black trousers shopping both online and in shop because I know uh, this course is gonna take me one year fully one year completely if no more than that because any hours or any days absent any absent days is gonna be filled back so I don't know it's something like this we're working we are learning as if I'm learning back home in Nigeria we even have a routine uh, <laughs> after the after the class everyone in the school have what to do like their duty cleaning up the window someone that will sweep so everyone has what to do in short it's, I don't know <laughs> I feel like giving up I, I feel like stopping the class but I don't know what to do because I really want to get the license and funny enough this is no way I'm gonna get a license this is just gonna give me the certification that I learn how to die here and uh, um, make uh, white people here and um, I'm gonna have a certification in the school then after one year I'm still gonna go for placement then uh, back, look on, uh, go for placement uh, which is gonna take me one year then after that I'll go for the final exam which will give me the license the government line the government license so that is what I really want to do but my thought in the first place was I'm gonna have the license immediately after the uh, one year class in the school I never knew after the school that I'm just going to have uh, 1,500 hours in the school that I still have to go for 2,000 hours of placement. But though they believe it's, it's a job because we're going to be paid minimum wage for that uh, another one year, which is 2,000 hours. Uh, I don't know what to do. I'm so sad. I feel so sad that how am I going to use two years if no more than because oh, I don't know what to do. If one year is going to be for 1500 class, and even with the fact that I'm going to learn Baba with it, so it's going to be 1600 for anyone that wants to learn Baba and year styling. So I don't, I know this is going to take me like a year and a year and two weeks, if not. So I imagine I, I want to get my uh, 2000 hours again after this school. I don't know, I feel so sad, but my husband keeps me going on because I, I'm just consoling myself that the license is going to be forever. So it's going to be what I'm going to have forever. I, I don't know what to say. I've never been stressed like this, like just for something I know, just for something I have been earning money on it. Though I, I, 
I've made care for white people, but not styling brighter hair and not uh, coloring or dyeing their hair. I don't know what to do. I'm devastated and I don't know what to do, but I know since my husband uh, is not giving me an issue on it, uh, and he even gave me go ahead and encourage me, so I think I don't have to stop. So this is different style we have on our dummy hair. You can choose colors for your hair style. So I'm here to do anyone for you. So I don't know what to do. I'm about to give up because I imagine I'm gonna still go for a placement for another one year after this school. It's something terrible. It's more than what I can imagine because I need to earn money and start working immediately after the school. I never knew it's going to be something that is going to take up to two years, if not more than that. Even with the school, I'm, I don't know. I don't know what to say because I just keep complaining because I've only used two, three days, but uh, I don't know. I want to give up because going to learn a uh, year styling for uh, from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Wow, those are uh, 15 minute break twice and 30 minute break, non stopping. We're busy practical, we're busy on practical and theory. Oh, it's not what I expect. I thought it's going to be something that will be easier than I expect. But and I, I'm, uh, funny enough, this is the first, this is the junior class. We're going to be in junior class for three months. By August, I'm going to be on the field of full practical where we're going to be working, where people will work in, we'll make care for them. The school will have money on it, except if the customer gave us, uh, give us our uh, tips. So it's more than what I expect. It's like I leave my own job because I, I'm already known for making here. I earn money on needs, I file tax on needs. So the only issue that brought me down here was just to have my license. Because without having your license, you can't come out openly to have a shop. And secondly, when you have your license, if you mistakenly die uh, a customer, a client hair uh, wrongly, or you mistakenly cut their hair wrongly, they don't have power over you because your license so the purpose of the lenses is a lot more and even me myself can end up uh, training people when i'm done with the with the no not with the school after the school i'll have the certification then i'll go for one year then that was when i'm going to have the license i never want to give up i hope i'm not tired i i hope i didn't stop i hope if I didn't stop by tomorrow, Friday, then that means I'll continue. It's just so unfortunate that even the days you have appointments and you miss the school, you still have to you still have to do the days, the hours you miss back. So that makes me so sad. But I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. As a mother of four kids, wish many appointments, many many events is still gonna come up anyway. It's just one of the stage of life. It's me that I'm, I'm, uh, I want to achieve by having the uh, Ontario license. But I don't know what to do. But I'm sure I'll keep going on since my husband is encouraging me. So I, I will never stop. So this is part of the practice we did today. We already uh, put them on rollers and on under uh, dryer on uh, yesterday, which is on Wednesday. Uh, because Monday was for registration, Tuesday we put the dummy hair on rollers. We thought how to measure, how to put them on rollers. And, and I say Wednesday and Thursday, so we have all the styling, practical. So I think we did a good job. Me and my uh, co-student, co we're supposed to be seven, but unfortunately, the other five people didn't come, didn't show, didn't show up to start the school. So, though it's easy, it makes it very easy for us to understand 
what the teacher is teaching us, but on the other side, uh, I promise never to give up. Though deep inside me, I'm, I'm not really happy because how could we, we can't miss an hour, we can't miss 30 minutes, and on appointment day, we have to come back on another day to fill back the hours. We sign in with Tom Pritt, so there is no lie about it. So you come into the school, sign in with your Tom Pritt, with your passcode, and that's thumping in, you're tapping in your, with your, with your um, finger is going to read the hours you spend in the school automatically. So it's so funny to me. It's something that I never expected it's going to be this hard. I thought it's something that even the days I have appointment, I'll be free to go, things like that. So anyway, we move. So this is the last time I did uh, today, uh, which was uh, like three pattern styling, styling. So the front, the back, and the middle. So I, we start from the middle. So right here, I'm pinning it down. So I have to pin it down firmly and uh, tight. So then I'll go to the back or the dark, uh, the, the one at the down or the last styling at the back. I mean, so I think I passed that in three places then, pin it down. And you, have, you just have to be creative. So I don't believe I can do it because this is my first time of styling a brighter hair. So, the next one is from the back and the last one will be the wrapping from the front so you bring it from the front to cover up the one you did in the middle and the back so I think I did a good job the, the teacher said we tried that both of us really tried for the first time if we are able to achieve this that means we're going to do more beautiful beautiful job out there so Thank you guys for watching. I love you all. Please, I don't have much followers, so it's such, it's so painful because I, I'm just learning more on how to do the uh, YouTube video to be more perfect. Let me say I'm not that serious about it. Sometimes I miss the way I'm supposed to place my camera. I got so busy that I can't, even, I don't even have time to upload. I don't know. But I need encouragement from you people that are watching me. Please, I beg, kindly like, love, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That will encourage me more. Please, thank you. Keep watching. I hope you're able to uh, pick the style you want. I hope you're able to leave comments or ask any question you want to ask on the comment section. I'm here and I promise to reply you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching.